Hello everybody, welcome back to Cult Cinema Classics. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite 80's horror movies that I don't hear get talked enough about. And that movie is House. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. House is a 1986 horror comedy film directed by Steve Miner, responsible for such other horror gems like Friday 13th Part 2 and 3, Halloween H2O, and Lake Placid. House was produced by Sean S. Cunningham, who is best known for creating the Friday 13th series of horror films. House stars William Catt and George Went, who you'll recognize as Norm from one of my favorite shows ever, Cheers. House tells a story about troubled author Roger Cobb who inherits his deceased aunt's house and falls victim to its hauntings. Roger is a bit of a troubled man. He's recently been divorced from his wife and their son Jimmy has disappeared without a trace. And on top of that, he's being pressured by his publicist to write another novel. Roger's aunt who previously owned the house has committed suicide and now Roger inherits this house and instead of selling it he decides to move in where he thinks he's going to find the peace and quiet to work on his new novel about his experiences in Vietnam. Shortly after Roger moves into this house he starts to have nightmares about his comrade in war Big Ben who was killed in Vietnam. Also Roger starts to experience lots of strange phenomena throughout the house. I remember first seeing this movie late one night on the sci-fi channel back in the uh, mid to late 90s and I remember being genuinely scared of this movie. I was watching this movie with a buddy of mine and I just remember that it creeped us both out so much that like when we would get up to use the restroom the other one would be standing outside the door just to make sure nothing happened to us. Which is funny now because you watch this movie as an adult and you see that it's silly in some parts while still being kind of creepy and it's just an all around fun fun movie. There's this one particular scene in the movie where Roger's ex-wife comes to visit him and as they're talking in the kitchen, uh, Roger has a shotgun shell placed on the table that rolls off onto the floor and Roger's ex-wife bends down out of view to come pick the bullet up and when she comes back into view of the camera, she is no longer Roger's ex-wife but now she's this scary, hag-like monster and I just remember that scene creeping me out the most as a child. As Roger continues to experience more phenomena like this, he begins to explain all this to his neighbor Harold, played by George Went, and Harold just assumes that Roger is just going crazy. There's another scene in the movie where Roger traps one of these monsters in his closet, and he runs next door to tell Harold so he can prove to Harold that yes, there is something crazy in this house going on. And it's just a really funny scene and it really is a good example of the tone that's set throughout this entire film. House is an all-around fun film. It has something for just about every horror fan out there. Now, it's not really a particularly graphic or gory film, but what it does do, it does do it well. There was a total of about seven different types of monsters designed and fabricated for this film. One in particular being an 18 foot puppet operated by about 15 people. I love the variety and different types of monsters shown in this film. It helps keep the movie fresh. The movie is a haunted house film but I almost look at it as a monster flick in some ways. There's definitely plenty of scares and laughs to be had here. This is one of those kind of movies that has stuck with me since childhood and has helped fuel my passion for horror movies at such a young age. It is movies like House that keep me in love with the genre. House is a seriously fun good time and this movie is an underrated gem in my opinion. It did manage to spawn a few sequels but I just don't feel like this movie gets enough recognition. House is seriously a fun good time and I recommend this movie to all those people out there who enjoy a good horror comedy or a good haunted house film. This movie in my opinion should satisfy any horror fan and if you haven't seen it I really recommend you do so right now. This copy right here is another Arrow video release which I'm glad that I bought when I did because by looking on Amazon it looks to be going for a pretty penny right now 
A used copy is probably going to run you about $100, but for you Amazon Prime users out there, it is streaming for free if you are interested in checking it out. And if you do check it out, let me know what you think of it. I'm always interested to hear and see your guys' feedback. So thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good weekend.